What is going on you guys? My name is Jersey or Jay and welcome back to the channel. You know what? I think it's time we all show Cascade Hills some love and we're going to be doing just that in today's video. Now if you guys remember like a month to a month and a half ago, we were on the map Meager Valley. We went over every single home base. I rated them from my least and my most favorite and we're going to be doing the same exact thing for this map. When this game first released, I gravitated towards Meager Valley. I really wasn't that big a fan of Drucker County and Cascade Hills has always been like that in between map. So it's time to really shine some light on it. A couple of things I would like to mention before we jump into it. One, yo, this is all personal preference, just straight up opinions. My list may be different from yours, and if so, be sure to let us know in the comments. Let's just have a big discussion. And two, I'm gonna give you guys my personal experience living here, and do I really recommend it, and all that good stuff. So sit back, relax. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's hop right into it. Starting off, we have the bridge fort, and man, oh man, is the PTSD kicking in. I'm gonna explain why later. But if you want to move here, it's gonna require 500 influence and require four people this base offers three parking spots clearable shelter beds two watch posts that work as watchtowers we have a west and a east one large slot one small indoor slot and two small outdoor slots so if you were to clear those shelter beds you'll have a total of four small slots and one large slot so with that being said is this home base hit by a lot of zombies to be honest with you no and i don't know if it's a bug or not but every time zombies come from the road the road guard stops them they just stand by the road guard and just look at my home base like i said i don't know if it's like a bug or or not but this base is really not hit by that many zombies but when you are hit by something like a siege and the zombies are coming non-stop look alive especially for jugs i don't know how but last year when i was living here a juggernaut made its way inside this base squeezed through these tiny doors and killed one of my guys and that's because it's so narrow in here my guy barely had enough room to shoot let alone use his melee weapon he got grabbed ripped up rp to him so if you're gonna live here i advise you guys to take one of your vehicles and park it up against one of the doors so that way you block off an entry way for the zeds and that's just less stress on you nice little step up from the starter house i do recommend it if you're going to stay here just to check it out for a few days or maybe like a week but you're not going to get longevity from here moving on we have the church on the hill if you want to move here it's going to cost a thousand influence and require five people i'm dropping the location now what's really cool about this home base is it has a built-in bell tower that gives you two active guards and a minus two zombie threat level at the cost of one ammo resource per day you can also use the bell tower to draw in zombies and what this will do is give you a minus seven zombie threat level for 31 minutes so that's dope this base also has four parking spots two clearable pews one large slot one small indoor slot two small outdoor slots i really like the look of this base for some reason it gives me walking dead vibes some of you may understand and also the bell tower is a great asset and the location is literally almost in the middle of the map so that's a bonus as well but i still decided to rank it here if you feel different let me know in the comments coming up next we have more and more distributing and it costs 1500 influence and requires six people now hold on i know some of you guys love this base and are probably going to be mad that i put this before the corner office but i'll get into that a little bit later this base offers clearable shelter beds also clearable shelter beds too it has a machine shop that's pretty much a built-in maxed out workshop you're able to salvage weapons repair weapons you get a plus 25 percent global build action speed and also plus one material per day those last two will require power but it's safe to say the machine shop is very unique and dope but i still prefer my red talon workshop which gives me free power for that facility one material per day and automatically repairs my weapons in my supply locker overnight so my only thing with this base is everything that it offers built in I'm able to substitute with something better this base also offers a huge fuel storage which allows plus 100 fuel resources uh if you enjoy your character spilling fuel every hour of the day be my guest plus everyone knows you keep your fuel in your trunk or you keep all your resources in your trunk anyway this base also has a backup generator that allows you to have base wide power for 46 minutes with a plus 5 morale bonus now once again that is a very dope facility but at the same time I have the builder boon and as you guys know I get free power and water anyway also two large slots one small indoor slot and two small outdoor slots and I know a lot of you guys love this base so I'm not hating or anything it's just from my perspective just from living here I can honestly say everything it has built in I can substitute for something better or I already have passively but I still do recommend this home base you can definitely get longevity out of it you have two large slots to work with the location isn't that great you have unique facilities so if you ever want to check it out oh and also it's not really hit by that many zombies zombies unless you're on nightmare zone but other than that if you want to check it out you have the location you know what it requires 
check it out when you guys get a chance next up we have the corner office this costs a thousand influence and requires five people and yo i'm gonna just be honest i love the look of this base i love that beautiful brownstone the location is just brilliant it's literally in the middle of the map and also the fence that comes with this home base is so tall zombies can't jump over it so if you have enough vehicles you can literally block off all entryways we'll at least leave one for you to come and go this base also has a built-in eatery kitchen an overlook which works as a watchtower all the way at the top of the building clearable shelter beds two parking spots one large slot one small indoor slot three small outdoor slots so a total of five small slots and one large slot that's more than enough to work with and personally i get more from these built-in facilities here than i do at more and more distributing which is why i put this after it i like the location of this base the watchtower is perfect the eatery kitchen is good the look of this base is amazing you can't go wrong obviously this isn't the biggest base on the map we all know that but if someone were to ask me what's a good base i recommend for like location looks and and overall what does it offer i'm going to show them this one right here i love this base moving on we have the lock and key self storage base this requires 1500 influence and six people i'm dropping the location right now but before we continue is it me or is this also in you guys's top five best looking bases i'm just saying i like the way this looks lock and key offers clearable shelter beds too an elaborate storage which gives you plus 45 resource storage but like i was saying at the beginning of the video no one needs to stack up that many resources just use your trunk also three parking spots a watchtower a very tall watchtower two clearable abandoned lockers and one large slot two small outdoor slots and for the people wondering why does this base have such a high rank what's so good about it well it has a secret distillery that not only provides me with base wide water for an hour but i can also convert my resources i can turn food into fuel food into ethanol and also food into whiskey which can be a great way to farm influence so overall one large slot six small slots a secret distillery that can convert resources and also be used to farm a ton of influence i love it i definitely recommend this home base i love the look of it i love what it has built in the location not so great and also you are hit by a lot of zombies especially because around the fence area there are some broken parts and zombies can jump over so get ready for those zombie attacks but what it has to offer is still definitely worth it whenever you guys get a chance you have enough influence and people definitely check it out coming in at number one we have the container fort it requires 3500 influence and eight people and some of you guys know it i see it all the time i just do not like these huge bases i think it's because well i think it's a mix of two things one being that i just like the challenge of small bases and also there needs to be more when it comes to obtaining these bigger bases like having to survive a certain amount of days or destroy like a plague wall or you know just make it harder but anyway we have the container fort biggest base in cascade hills and pretty much the biggest base in the game it has three parking spots one workshop three i said it a workshop three two large slots five small outdoor slots one fire safe storage and if that's not enough this home base has eight built-in beds inside talk about overkill and i'm not going to go into detail about sieges and if you're hit by a lot of zombies because once you move here you're going to have eight people off rip so you're going to be fine regardless so if you want to and i know a lot of you guys do go ahead and move here if you want and with that being said that's today's video this is a cascade hills map what i want you guys to do is pick one of these bases we just went over today and live there for about a good week check it out let me know what you guys think and if your list is different from mine yo the comment section is open let's have a big discussion be sure to drop a like also subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video follow me on twitter and i'm gonna actually get started with the drucker county one i've actually been living on drucker county so i'm almost ready and i'll have that video done in like a week or two but there's gonna be other videos in between so be on the lookout i'll be seeing you guys real soon with some more state of the k2 content peace